I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video we're going to have a look at the best low cost launch pad for some good allocations. The bear market is slightly resetting. Bitcoin is going up, reaching 44K again, which means that the launch pads are trending again. And of course, the main question is right now, is this the last moment if we assume that the bull run is starting? That's the assumption we make in this video, which would mean that this is the last moment you can get into a launch pad affordably because as you can see, the launch pads are already pumping. We see some gains, 42%, 34%, 10%, 28%. The opportunities are already starting to perish. So in this video, I will show you the launch pads that I think have tremendous opportunity for the next bull run, specifically when we obviously look at the crypto gaming opportunities. So apart from the big launch pads like Dowmaker, Polkastarter, Cedify, which have a market cap over a hundred million, there are definitely some smaller launch pads. Because in my opinion, the best launch pads to get into are the launch pads that either just started or haven't launched any projects yet. They need something different compared to all the other launch pads because look at how many there are. Some are doing great, some are doing not so great, right? So apart from all the other launch pads that I've already covered on this channel, which are many, in this video, I wanna highlight the low cost one. And we're going to start today with Perigen. So Perigen is not even on the list, it's right here. So Perigen only started a short time ago and you can see that the token is very affordable right now. And the great thing about Perigen is that it's actually launching a lot of projects. So when we go to the Perigen launchpad, um, with my Digits Club, we did a private allocation round for the Perigen token, which did extremely well. So a lot of people gave me feedback that they joined Perigen, the token sale, but also actually the launches, and it's been doing extremely well. So they have three upcoming projects listed, but once you go to their Twitter, there are quite a bit more. So they have M Station, Shark Race Club, and then Terraverse, uh, over the next 30 days, basically. Uh, and I think on their Twitter, they have announced five more launches. So this basically signals that the launch pad is doing extremely well. You can see it is designed extremely professionally. It looks good. Apparently the team is working good uh, and they have an overview on their actual tiers. I think even on the homepage, the tiers are available. Yeah, here we go. So the great thing about Perigen, in my opinion, from a low cost point of view, the token is affordable at the moment. It is quite a new launch pad. So the ticket sizes are huge. There are not that many people on the launch pad just yet. And every single tier has guaranteed allocation, which is obviously something to also be considered about. So the pool weights basically rank from one to 305. And the staking requirement is 200, 1,000, 2,500, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 40,000, 80,000. So for 200 uh, Argen, basically the first tier, it would only run you about 45 bucks, right? That's like extremely affordable. When we would talk about the second level, Scorpion, it would be about 229 bucks, which is, I mean, still uh, relatively cheap, right? So when we make the entire calculations, uh, I would say from what I've heard, at least that the ape tier is a good position to be at if you're a bigger investor. And obviously the Eagle is a very suitable position, but basically anything gets you guaranteed allocation, right? If you would be in the ape tier, I do have an estimate. So what I've been told is that the actual guaranteed allocation is already quite high based on the staking. So you can expect anything from like 150 to 450 bucks, uh, depending on the race of the project. But then in addition to that, that is just the guaranteed allocation round. Because it's a new pad, and obviously with a guaranteed allocation round, not everybody's going to participate, the round of the first come first serve is huge, up to $1,000, right? Sometimes $2,000. So what you'll notice is that there's a, a lot of room for 
additional opportunity if you want to take it that is it's obviously not mandatory but there is uh, quite some opportunity and therefore i think perigen is extremely interesting and should be considered on your list uh, because a lot of people, the thing is, they just can't find it, right? It's not listed as a launchpad. You either need to know, like I'm telling you right now, hey, Perigen is a cool launchpad because all I do is launchpads, right? So um, obviously I would know about it, but you might not know about it. So I'm telling you right now, but all the other people in the industry that are basically using CoinMarketCap like I just did, you have this amazing category section where you can just go to launchpads, yet it's not there, right? So not all the launchpads available are are actually in the launchpad section and something like ufo gaming still doesn't have a launchpad super farm still doesn't have a launchpad right um but they're already listed there it's just how they sort things obviously i assume they cannot keep up to date with everything all the time and that's why i'm here to inform you so definitely parage and quite big let's have hop over to their twitter real quick to see if actually i can find the announcement because i saw it the other day um, and, uh, and basically every launch they've done so far uh, sold out, right? Which is definitely really, really good. Yeah. So they have an IGO calendar. So they got like Nomad Exile, Meta Station, Shark Race Club, Terraverse, The Next War, Battle in Wars, uh, League of Empires, uh, all games. Uh, and you can see that the dates, some are still to be confirmed. But these uh, last three are not even on their website yet. So definitely make sure to check out their Twitter as well uh, for good updates. But Perigen, I would say one of my number one picks uh, in terms of recommendations, uh, in my opinion, very, very high potential for hopefully the coming crypto gaming bull run, right? Perigen. The next token is actually on the launchpad list, which I think is uh, really great for smaller investors, right? Uh, Communitas. I don't cover usually a lot of smaller launchpads uh, with less investment because I don't have that problem, right? I can spend 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 on launchpad tokens. But I also do understand that that is not for everybody, right? So if you are in a position where you maybe only have 200, 500, 1,000 dollars and you want to experience what the launchpads do, how that works, that entire world of IDOs, Communitas is basically your spot because you only need 100 tokens to get guaranteed allocation. Yes, you heard that right, 100 tokens, which is basically 48 cents of Communitas to get guaranteed allocation. The great thing is about Communitas is that the price is extremely stable, right? So they have a huge burning system in place, which you can read under Medium how that works, which makes sure that the price is quite stable, the supply demand doesn't change, they're staking in place as well to qualify. Um, and they have a very cool calculator for their private sales, right? So they do the public sales and they do private sales. So let's say how much COM token do you have? Uh, and then you can stake it and then you, it shows you how much you can earn. But it does show specifically uh, in which round, so private here and public here, how much allocation you would approximately get based on the race, right? Which is a very, very nifty, nice tool. So the lowest tier is a 100 COM token, as I said, 48 cents, give or take, depending on the price, guaranteed allocation. So you basically get a weighted average based on the total amount of people staking with the total amount of COM token. So you might get a $1 allocation, right? You might get a $100 allocation, uh, but you're also able this way to join the first COM first sheriff round. Uh, because it's on Polygon, it's basically very affordable, right? There's almost no gas fees. And this is a tearless system, which basically means that you do not need to buy, let's say, uh, you know, a thousand, two thousand, a hundred thousand tokens. You could even buy a hundred and ten tokens or a hundred and twelve tokens, right? Uh, and the system will adjust that appropriately which uh, I think is quite interesting. It's something that uh, I'm exploring to basically see if this is a system that can offer or a more fair model that can offer a launchpad uh, broader options to serve their clients, specifically coming from the point of view where the price is extremely stable, right? Which is also to be considered in, 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 a, in a bearish market and in a bullish market. 
uh, they have a sufficient amount of projects. So if you go to the launch pad, uh, they have upcoming one, two, three, four, five projects upcoming. And I mean, the races uh, are available, right? The information is all there, the swap rate, the initial market cap, the supply, uh, and everything looks uh, really, really good here. So in my opinion, obviously, Communitas would be one uh, of your best picks if you're looking for a high quality, uh, low cost, relative low cost launch path, right? The team is extremely active. So they based out of Indonesia. So if you need any help regarding their launch path, they are there to assist you. So Paragen, Communitas, two highly, highly big potential low cost launch pads for the next hopefully upcoming crypto gaming bull run the question is apart from those two what's on the list there are so many different launch pads right however most of these launch pads either have seen a huge decline and are yet to recover which might offer you a good opportunity but also brings you into a position of more risk right uh, one that's also not here but i can take as an example is firestarter for example so firestarter since the launch has seen a tremendous decline right they launched just before the crypto gaming bull run so they had a huge pump but literally the last day of the bull run ever since they have seen somewhat of a linear downward pattern basically coming from a all-time high of two dollars forty sitting right now at 20 cents it can't get much worse for Firestarter in terms of their valuation, right? They do have some decent volume behind them still, 1.2 million in the last 24 hours, uh, but that's because they're listed on KuCoin. If they were only listed on QuickSwap, this would be a disaster, right? Uh, they are redesigning their tiers, that's what I've heard, so that's a good thing, um, but they don't really have that many projects, and what they have launched wasn't that good. So they got RightStream, which was closed, which was a disaster, that launch. Crypto Citizen, and the registration is closed. I don't know that much about it. Legends of Alumnia is very hyped, but it's been there for two months, and there's no announcement when it will launch, right? Uh, obviously, the Legends of Alumnia team takes into consideration the current market conditions, yet, obviously, investors would like to know when these things are going to happen. And then they got col Collection. Cool name. Um, I don't know what that's about either. Uh, but the fire starter tiers, basically it's all lottery unless you qualify for the highest potential. So they're going to restructure this. I assume they're going to work more with guaranteed allocation as that is way more reliable for investors in general. Overall, I think that the fire starter set up the projects that they have launched in the beginning. It does have some good opportunity, this launch pad. However, uh, that's why I'm saying basically covering it. it I think it has less potential than Paragen uh, and maybe a different format than Communitas, right? Uh, but it's just at such a good price to entry right now. Uh, basically, one of the bigger opportunities, it came from $2.40. So when the crypto market pumps, they will get better projects, more projects, and it's likely to do really well if that tier system is structured properly. So a little bit more risk on the Firestarter, but also more potential reward, because this launch pad is obviously also on the Polygon blockchain, but I would say offers a larger scope to investors than, for example, communities, right? They have NFTs, they have a long-term roadmap in terms of what they want to do. They're really looking to raise large amounts of money. So communities is a maximum, I think, of 200K that they raise. Firestarter can raise 500k, a million. I don't think they have any limits depending on their audience, right? If the audience is willing to invest more, uh, they can offer that. So therefore, Firestarter would be my number three pick. Uh, and that would basically be my summary of low cost launch pads currently that still offer tremendous opportunity for the next bull run. Yes, there are obviously launch pads like Cedify, like a bunch of other ones but either the ratio is not good so for example any pad whereas any pad has been going down tremendously it's i think below the all-time low 
yeah so it's basically right now at an all-time low price but they don't have any projects lined up the team is extremely inconsistent at the moment with their communication so i can't with a good conscience recommend you to join this although i hold the maximum tier on any pet still i haven't sold my tokens even through the bearish pattern because i think in the bull run they will do well they did Sidus heroes they did godzilla so i'm very much bullish on any pet in the long term but if you have a limited budget it's just not the right pick in my opinion right now uh, true PL, basically the same thing. The team is very inconsistent. It's very chaotic. They make a lot of mistakes, but the token is cheap. And the token is cheap because of that. Not because, just like any pet, not because of the market conditions alone, but because of a rep repetitive amount of FUD in the community, a lot of stress, uh, bad communication, uh, and that's basically spiraling. And they need to fix that. And they can, they just need time, uh, which. Um, I hope they have until that bull run kicks in. But for now, Paragen, Communitas, and you might want to consider Firestarter. If you have any other launch pads, which are both affordable, launching a lot of projects, and are a great entry point at the current moment, then let me know in the comments down below, because I would love to know about it if I haven't spoken about it in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.